Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Brett, also known as Birdman. Um, this is the first episode uh, of my channel, and hopefully there'll be more. So hit the subscribe button, and uh, hopefully there'll be weekly videos uploaded for your pleasure. Uh, so the main objection of this uh, channel that I'm starting is to help promote bird hunting in general and um, hopefully you'll see some good uh, dog work some good shooting um, for upland duck and goose hunting um, but one of the the biggest things i wanted to do was take uh, interviews of hunters and um, ask them what hunting meant to them and also why is it important to pass down the heritage of hunting in general to future generations um, that's really the, the main objective of this as long along with seeing some good hunting footage um, so i'm gonna try to go ahead and upload videos as fast as i possibly can but you know i have to take footage go out to the field and that takes some time and cutting it so kind of new new to all this so we're gonna give it a give it a go so um why don't you sit back and relax and watch some good dog dog work and uh we'll talk to you soon
dog today. He's got a bird. A pup pig. Casey, here we go! Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, video of um, some young labs working uh, at the Rooster Ranch. And uh, this next part of the video, I'm just going to uh, show you a project I've been working on. If you're gonna be a bird hunter and you're getting into the sport, um, a dog box is a big necessity. And um, I currently have a John Deere Gator uh, 860i RSX and the problem I was having is the cargo box is a little small for the setup that I wanted to uh, have so I went ahead and did some research I wanted to buy a box some of them were a little too expensive for me so um, I went ahead and decided that I can make my own custom made and uh, I'm gonna give you a little tour of it so this is my box that I just completed making. It's made from two by twos and uh, half inch plywood. I have two doors, a heating pad in there, some vents, and uh, I stained it with this boat stain that's supposed to keep it waterproof and everything. So let's take a look. So I have two, two uh, doors here, they latch. Inside I have the heating pad with a cord going out the side. These do latch. Simple barrel hatches, uh, latches. And then I have some vents on the side. Some handles. So those vents should uh, keep them nice and ventilated because I have another one on this side. And uh, like I said, this fits perfect. So that's a basic box that I made. Um, I had some certain measurements that I had to use and that was part of the Gator cargo box and so I had to stay within those limits. Um, the heating pad, decided to add that later. It goes on the back. I was gonna put it on the bottom but it was just too big so um, that should create some ambient uh, temperature increase should says it's supposed to be like 37 degrees above the ambient temperature so I plugged it in all night stuck it in uh, uh, closed all the doors plugged it in and uh, waited for about an hour and it did warm it up quite a bit when I put my hands in there so um, I'm pretty pleased with it should keep them pretty warm uh, this winter my last setup was <laughs> just two uh, metal boxes in the back two metal uh, dog crates and um, I figured that wasn't warm enough for them here in Michigan it does get a little chilly so uh, especially in the winter time I do guide all year long so um, with that being said uh, they want I want to keep them a little warmer so if you want any further information on how I made this box go ahead um, leave a comment I'll get back to you I think that uh, Anyone that wants to build a box for a back of your truck, gator, uh, UTV, ATV, I have about $150, $170 into this thing without the heating pad. So I think that it can be done uh, with a little bit of uh, effort. This took me, I think I started it the other day at 1 o'clock in the afternoon and got done around 8. And that was with everything without doing the staining. So... Um, I don't have any step-by-step -step instructions that I uh, took video of or anything. This is kind of an afterthought, so I'm just showing you the finished product. Thanks for watching, guys. That concludes episode one, 
and uh, hope to see you next time for episode two. This is Birdman signing off.